everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well welcome to a little get ready with me video this was a very spontaneous video but i was just sat down doing my makeup and i thought i'm gonna film it um so here we are i really hope you guys enjoy this video this makeup look is something that i wear near enough every day especially when i'm shooting if i'm just popping out obviously i'll go for something a bit lighter but this has kind of been my go-to at the moment there are some brand new products in here so i'm very very excited to share them all with you but yeah as i said this was a very spontaneous video so i hope the setup and everything works okay and i hope you guys enjoy hi everyone so here is my makeup free face i'm gonna start with popping on a little bit of spf i've done my skincare so i just want to pop a little spf on before we get started with my makeup obviously do this every single day so the spf that i use is just the bondi sands face factor 50 i really love this spf the moisturizers that i tend to use on a daily basis are the ren ones and they don't have an spf in so i always just like to use um this one on my face and neck before popping on any makeup the reason i like it so much is because it's um it doesn't feel like a sun cream it really sinks into your face and makes it really really easy to apply makeup straight afterwards it's not too sticky and it doesn't leave much of a residue so hairband on i can get started with uh, my makeup so hair out of my way i am going to get started first thing i'm going to do obviously is prime um so i have been using this primer recently i usually always use the bobbi brown um vitamin enriched face cream which is like a, a mix between a primer and a moisturizer but i recently got sent this one from hourglass and this is the vanish primer airbrush primer it says um and wow this is incredible and this is really incredible i'm going to pop a little bit on you do not need much at all i used this for the first time a few weeks ago and was just so impressed with the results it really does keep my makeup on all day long um now this is quite a mattifying primer so the bobby brown vitamin enriched face cream because it's a mixture between a primer and a moisturizer it's a little bit more hydrating leaves your face feel, feel feeling a little bit more dewy whereas this primer kind of leaves more of a film it reminds me of the benefit uh professional that i used to use a few years ago um it's got that kind of texture to it which i don't mind my skin is naturally quite oily so having something that's a bit more mattifying doesn't really bother me too much so keeping with the hourglass theme i'm going to use my hourglass foundation stick i've got this in shade natural um i'm not wearing any tan or anything so this works really quite well with my skin um tone at the moment but if i do wear tan i like to go for something darker um, and i'll normally wear the either the Too faced born this way um foundation or the ysl foundation i can't remember what it's called so i have both of those in a darker shade so i'm trying to keep my skin free of tan as much as i can at the moment um, I was actually going to wait to film this video when my skin was a little bit better but as I said this was just spontaneous and I thought what is the point in waiting until my skin is better I might as well just do this now. Uh, as you can see this foundation blends so nicely I'm just using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush which I have used for years to do my foundation i really love the finish of this foundation stick as well i'd heard really good things about it before i tried it but i wasn't expecting too much but i'm so so impressed with these hourglass products i know they are expensive they're not kind of cheaper drugstore products but in my opinion they are worth it and i will definitely be repurchasing for myself um once they run out so obviously always bring my foundation all the way down to my neck hence why there's a little bit on my dressing gown that has blended so nicely and now i'm just going to go in with the concealer obviously again from hourglass and this is in shade sepia i really love the consistency of this it's on such a thick brush as well which is really good for the eye area not so good if you want to use it a bit more specifically around the face um but i just pop a line there line up here and then i also do 
just to get a little bit more contouring around the mouth. And then I blend this in with a beauty blender. This is just a Real Techniques one. I just find that's the easiest way for me to get my concealer exactly where I want it. I find a brush kind of just moves it around too much and doesn't press it in to especially the eye area um, as much as I would like. But these three hourglass products together, the primer, the foundation and the concealer are just, they create a really, really flawless base that is going to last you all day long. So as always, everything will be linked in the description box and I will try and remember to pop my shades down there that I'm wearing as well, but I am trying to say them as I go. I just find placing the concealer in the areas that I did really tends to lift the face rather than just completely concealing. It's quite a tactical way of applying concealer um, because it just makes the eye area look a little bit more lifted. So to continue with my contouring, I am using this stick from Stilla and it's called, it's in shade Sunkiss Bronze. I'm not sure what it's called. Lip and Cheek Stick. Um, but I love this product. I got sent it in a beauty box um, and I was just utterly obsessed with it. I've repurchased it myself a couple of times now because it's just the, my favourite product for contouring. So as you can see, just place it in the normal areas that you would for contouring. It's a really lovely colour um, and you'll see in a second how well it blends out. So I just used my beauty blender again, just kind of press the product really deeply into my face but look at that colour really really beautiful it just makes such a difference and then I will bronze a little bit on top of this because I do love to be bronzed and of course you can just apply as much or as little of this as you want you can go a little bit heavier sometimes I do if I'm um, if I'm wearing a little bit more of like an evening or a glam look I'll go a little bit darker and a bit heavier on the product um, so I get a bit of a harsher contour but just for kind of everyday day-to-day -day makeup the amount that I've applied is just right but you can really see here and here especially where the contour has really shaped my face just gives a little bit more of a chiseled look and because it's a creamy product as well it doesn't look cakey on the skin at all um, so I really love this I think it's super affordable as well I can't remember exactly how much it is um, but I know it doesn't break the bank so I am actually sat in a little bit of a different position to the rest of my sort of get ready with me videos but the sun was shining today so i thought i'm just going to sit in front of the window and hopefully you get a little bit better lighting to see my face a bit clearer um, but i have a little bit of tissue here um, that i just grabbed and i'm going to now just wipe any excess foundational makeup off of my eyebrow area because i'm going to do my eyebrows next and i do not want any foundation getting in the product because that is not going to look Good. So I am going to use the Refi products to do my brows. I've been using these for months and months and months. No, no, that's not true. Maybe months and months. And definitely the best brow products I have ever, ever, ever come across. Um, I'm going to use the Brow Sculpt, which is just the kind of clear gel. Um, and I'm just going to brush, do one brow at a time. I'm just going to brush up. So you can see already how much of a difference that's making. And then I brush down. I do need quite a lot of this, I won't lie. So I have gone through a couple of these already. Um, the product is long lasting in terms of throughout the day, but in terms of making this go a long way, um, I do have to replace it quite often. You take the lid off and you get a little spoolie. So I'm just going to brush the brows in the exact direction I want them to fall. This does dry clear as well, which is fab because when I first put it on, I was like, oh god, it's going to just look like I've got eyelash glue going throughout my eyebrows, but no. It dries clear, so once I've brushed the hairs how I want them and then go over with this thicker side of the spoolie, or the brush, not really a spoolie, is it? And just sort of flatten them down so they stay exactly in place. And you can obviously see the difference between the brows, so I'm going to do the other one now. But I have found, unless I'm sort of wearing a hat or I'm sort of taking off jumpers and putting them back on over my face, the brows stay in place pretty much all day long. And of course, because you have the brushes, you can literally style them however you want. If you want them 
a bit more upright or you want them a bit more natural than I have them, it's very, very easy to just push the hairs wherever you'd like them. This brow is always so much better and it's so much more, what's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? This is gonna really get on my nerves. Not compliant. It is compliant, but it's not the word I'm looking for. Cooperative, so much more cooperative. It always does exactly what I want it to do. Whereas this one, not so much. Right, so brows are now sort of set in place. So I am now just gonna quickly go over them with the Refi Brow Pencil. This is in shade medium. Um, and I just use this extremely gently. I like to have the pencil quite long because I feel like it makes it a little bit more accurate. Um, and I just literally really, really carefully and gently just fill in any gaps. Just go over the hairs slightly, very, very natural. I try and do longer strokes as well as if I'm drawing in the hair rather than like coloring in. Um, and I find that that makes things a little bit more natural. And then on the other side of this, there is a little boolie to just brush out and, and sort of soften those lines that you've drawn. So now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and I'm using another up another hourglass product this is the ambient palette so this is a well-loved palette um so it's a little bit dirty but these are the colors in it and i just think they are beautiful so i tend to use a mixture of these two lighter shades on the lid and then do a little bit of contouring with this top one here um, i'm just going to use this look good feel better it's a spectrum brush tapered blending brush i think it's from spectrum but as i said just mixing those two lighter colors as like a base for the lid. And then I'm using this Real Techniques brush, which was a limited edition. It's number 203, but I literally got this about three or four years ago, but it is the perfect kind of fluffy brush for blending eyeshadow. So I just take a little bit of the darker brown in the corner of the lid and just really roughly work it through the crease. And it just creates a nice contour, very simple, quite natural as well. It's quite a natural colour, which is nice. And you don't have to be too neat with this at all, which I like. So as you can see, it just gives a little bit more shape to the eye. And I do like to just pop a small amount under the eyelid as well. The eye line, sorry. So that is the eyeshadow done. I'm also just going to use whatever is left on this brush. Just take it down either side of my nose very, very lightly just to give a slight contour on my nose then just use my fingers to kind of rub it out so it's not too harsh and that's actually all i do to contour my nose just very very simple and i like how all the colors kind of match each other i think it makes a more cohesive and natural looking contour um now i'm gonna do a little bit of bronze and a little bit of blush so i have a couple of more refined products here this is the cream bronzer in shade sand do you know what i love these refined products but i can never get this open so this is the color of the cream bronzer again you can see a well-loved product so i've just got the refi brush here as well just use the stippling end and just very very gently add a little bit of that to my cheekbones and a tiny bit to my forehead this is so so pigmented you do not need a lot of this at all but it's so easy to blend and because and because my base um the foundation and the primer were very mattifying um, and quite heavy i really like to use a more cream product for my bronzer and my blush so now i have the malaya blush that i'm just using on the other end of the refi brush look how pigmented that is i've put way too much on i think just use my fingers as well a little bit so that is bronze and blush done now i'm just going to quickly where is it here it is curl my lashes i am going to wear some false lashes today but only on the corners of my eyes. So I am gonna pop some mascara on as well. So I just find it helps to give them a little curl. So because I am wearing false lashes, I'm not too bothered about what mascara I use. I've got this sumptuous knockout one from Estee Lauder, which is quite good, um, just a little mini one. But I'm just gonna pop quite a small amount of mascara on. Don't want it to be too intense, but it just makes such a difference to have them curled, I think, especially if you're like me and got quite short lashes and the other side so i've now just got a couple of tiny little lashes i actually cut lashes in half um and just use them on the ends like i said um, and i just use the duo glue which i got from look fantastic i think it's just this one 
very very good it helps them stay on all day long and you need a teeny tiny amount so just wait till the glue is a little bit tacky before placing it on the corner of my lash i find these lashes last so long as well i can get like seven wears out of these so as long as i keep them nice and when the glue starts to change color a bit that's how you know that it's drying. So that is the lashes on. I had to do them off camera because I had to get really, really close to the mirror um, to press them down. Um, but I've just popped a tiny little bit of mascara on my lower lashes as well. And I just find that this gives my lashes a real bit of volume. I'm just using the Refai um, highlight. This is the gloss highlighter in shade Topaz. Just popped a tiny bit on my ring finger and just adding this here at the very very top of my cheekbone but this is one of my favorite highlighters i've ever used i really love that it's kind of got a brown tone to it rather than being kind of silvery or golden and because it's so creamy again it just sits on the face so nicely this would be such a great thing to wear just on holiday on your natural skin i think so as you can see i've popped a bit on my cheekbones a tiny bit on my chin end of my nose I then pop a little bit right in the corner of my eyes, just as a little bit more of a sparkle and a shimmer. So to finish off, I'm going to do my lips, and I've used this lip pencil probably for about three or four years. It's just a plain Rimmel one, lasting finish, and it's in shade Tiramisu, and I just think it's the perfect nude shade. It's such a lovely colour, um, and I always, always go back to it. It's just such a beautiful colour. Um, I'm then going to go over the top with the typology tinted bar it's in this beautiful nude color again um and this is called dusty pink and i think it's meant for like cheeks and maybe lips as well uh, but i just pop a little bit of this on my ring finger smooth it down onto my lips but i just think it's such a beautiful color and it's got a little bit of a shine to it as well and it works so well with the color of the lip liner and then if i'm feeling it and i want to add a gloss i'm not sure if i do today to be honest um but this is my favorite one it's the victoria beckham lip gloss it's called the posh gloss funnily enough but yeah i do love this one i'm not going to put it on today no i think i'm going to leave the lips as they are but this is my favorite gloss if i was to wear one and then last but not least i'm going to finish off with a spray of my favorite face mist the amora vixa queen of hungry mist This just gives a real dewy finish to my face. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Um, some brand new products in here, which I haven't really shared before, which is very exciting because I was definitely a creature of habit when it came to my makeup. Um, but now I feel like I've really mixed it up a little bit and I've got some fantastic products that I think work so well so as i said everything will be linked down below in the description box let me know if you guys have any beauty must-haves that you think i should try and let me know if you have tried any of the products that i have used today and what you think of them if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye